Water is the lifeblood of Michigan. It feeds our culture, our economy, our identity. Water is what makes Michigan pure. None of this would be possible if it weren't for the work happening hundreds of miles away. My name is Robin Burke. I'm the conservation planner here at Legacy Land Conservancy. Over most of my six years at Legacy, I have worked very directly with individual private landowners to place conservation easements on properties. I think our initial concern was that uh, we didn't want to see the original 80 acres subdivided. Uh, and we felt that subdivisions in many ways just degraded the natural environment. And so when we considered putting in an easement, one of the concerns was how to prevent this from becoming subdivided. Many times uh, my mother-in-law, Hatsi Beckwith, had mentioned uh, that she would love to have this place permanently protected from development. Right now the work that I'm focusing on has to do with working to determine the best strategy for land conservation. What is the most important land that we can protect right now? We decided to go with more conservation type practices. And that's when we, uh, we planted the tall grass uh, on the front field. So yeah, I'm 26. Um, everything business sided is kind of new to me. Um, I'm trying to keep my feet wet and learn everything as it comes at me. From the very first minute you get here, inside checking in, um, to just being a kid and excited about going out in the water and seeing those canoes and kayaks, it's a pretty incredible feeling. From a tourism industry, that the people that come out here, they really enjoy the wildlife. They enjoy wildlife, um, the river, everything that goes around out here. In Legacy's service area, there are multiple different watersheds. That means that there are multiple different basins where Waterfalls gets concentrated over distance into the main stem of a river like the Huron or the Grand. In this area of Michigan, all the water that goes onto the ground and makes it into a waterway goes to a great lake. Well, the uh, natural forest land is a perfect sponge uh, for rainwater and uh, it, it captures the rain as it falls. Well, there is very little runoff from here. So most of the rain goes straight down into the uh, aquifer and uh, gradually seeps into the creek over a long distance. So once we put it in grass, uh, it's amazing the amount of life on the place. You know, the bird life and the insects and amphibians. Uh, I mean, we've seen a real resurgence of uh, things that probably were always here, but uh, were suppressed. Uh, and now when it rains, because of the uh, long root system in this tall grass, the water soaks into the ground and uh, doesn't just run off. So look at this. It's as tall as my hand right now, and it's only mid-July. It's going to keep going. And in August, be another foot or so taller. And all those roots go right down just as far. It's amazing. It's just amazing. So it's beautiful. It's fun to think about what's going on underneath there. You know. Any one of Legacy's preserves has a role in that larger system of water moving from here out to the Great Lakes. Now this area where we're right here, this, this area was an area where we had a lot of erosion. And uh, the field, uh, after a storm, there'd be a lot of runoff. And it would come down through here but since we put in uh, the tall grass prairie, we haven't seen that. And uh, it seems like the water is just soaking into the ground now. And behind you, you can see on the brow of the hill there that uh, the land falls away. Well, that's where the spring water comes out of the soil and it changes that whole environment. So uh, it's, it's now a, a prairie fan. Uh, just on its own, it's come back and uh, now it's a beautiful woods. So what we're doing when we work with those private landowners is increasing the amount of area that we know is going to remain undeveloped and we know is going to have positive impacts on water quality over time. There might be some yellow jackets living in here in the pump. Oh, there he goes. There goes another one. They just like it where it's nice and wet. But look at that, it's nice and clear. Beautiful. But it also means that we are building a nearly invisible system 
um, that will remain even as development continues to expand. So we have 80 acres here and we have no chemicals going in, no silt going in to speak of and that has got to make a difference downstream to uh, the Raisin River and Lake Erie. I mean it's all connected. So protecting the land and protecting the water quality is super important for a business like this. Right here in the middle of the state we still are in a place that impacts the Great Lakes as a whole. This huge natural resource that is known across the world. What we do right here on this preserve in our own backyards has the potential to affect the entire Great Lakes system. For us to keep it clean and keeping us forest and farmland here definitely helps with business, businesses in the future. Um, most importantly, it's kind of for our generations in the future too. They can enjoy this for years to come. Uh, we're in a position where we could, you know, sequester this away and keep it from being developed. And uh, so that's what we did. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense or not, but isn't this river pretty? Protecting land is perhaps one of the best ways of protecting water. Join Legacy as we work to preserve the land that matters so much to the water. Volunteer with Legacy. Learn more about protecting your land. Register for our next outing. Make a gift. Invite Legacy to speak to your group. Partner with Legacy on our next project. Like us on Facebook. Stop by our booth. Share your story.